Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I've got a fun product here that I'm gonna share with you. This one is for the Seiko Paths, specifically uh, the guys that love the Seiko Monster. And I don't have a monster anymore, so I've got my Sumo here on this 3D printed monster. Now, a little bit of backstory here. Some of you may remember the Seiko nickname NATO that I produced with Risk Candy Watch Club some years ago. Uh, this has five different nicknames done in pictograph form that are representing some famous and popular Seiko divers. The Monster, the Turtle, the Sumo, the Samurai, and the Tuna. Now we did green, Luma Bright Green, we did Blood Red, and then uh, Robert and I, Random Rob and I, did some t-shirts here, some sweatshirts, uh, well, I think a year or two ago. And my friend Jerry reached out and said, hey, do you mind if I use that design we could 3D print the monster and make it into a watch holder that you could put on your desk, in your man cave, or at your bedside table. And I said, heck yeah, that's an awesome idea. So here it is, this is the final product here. And you'll notice that it is done in a glow in the dark material. And it looks perfect in low light. In fact, uh, the, the tone is Luma Bright tone. And it's potent, it's got great longevity, I think it's an awesome pairing. So yes, it does glow in the dark. It does come on a watch dial stand here or base just to help with the stability so that you can with confidence put your heavy stainless steel professional dive watch from Seiko on it and it's not gonna topple over or you know be precarious in any manner. So uh, you can pick your dial. I've got all the colors here. You can get it orange, black, full loom, no loom. And uh, this is the Gen 1 Monster dial configuration with the square indices. We didn't end up going with the Shark Teeth Gen 2, but I think it looks really cool. Uh, especially if you have a black monster or an orange monster, you can coordinate with that base. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but isn't it fun as watch fans, as watch nerds, as psychopaths, to have a little bit of extra merch that ties in with your watch? Whether it's a hat, a shirt, a NATO strap, or a 3D printed watch holder. It's kind of fun, it's kind of cool. Is it nerdy? Oh yeah, you bet it is, but hey, I'm cool with that. I'm proud to, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a watch nerd here. Here is the design. You guys can see um, Jerry does offer a smaller version. Uh, this one is not done in glow in the dark, but you guys can see the design. This is definitely the kaiju, the strange beast, the monster. You do get the shark teeth teeth up there in the monster head. And uh, some of you may notice I'm missing a few uh, toes. I don't know why the dogs are going crazy right now. Excuse that if you can hear it. Um, I I'm missing some toes and claws here. My six-year-old, when I unboxed this, uh, she thought it was so cool. In fact, she said, Dad, that's so cute. Can I play with it? <laughs> so she played with this with her LOL dolls and stuff. And uh, she did end up dropping it on the hardwood floor. So I did lose some toes and fingers. And just be aware, these things are breakable. So uh, don't let them take a, a hard fall into a hard surface where you might lose a little bit of material. But it's really well done. It's really cool. What's the price? Uh, I think it's about 90. It's under $100. And it depends on if you want multiple bases. I think those are 10 a piece. And I think the little figurine is about 30. So very reasonable. Actually, it's kind of low when you're considering the amount of material that is 3D printed. It is a time consuming process. Uh, the materials are not cheap, so uh, this is actually pretty decent value uh, for those that know the 3D print business. So for anyone interested in getting a monster watch holder here, a custom one, I'm gonna put a link to Jerry's uh, Etsy shop where you can check this out and his other, uh, his other 3D products. Am I getting a cut? No, uh, I'm not getting a cut, neither is Random Rob. We're happy to share this design. And uh, Jerry did all the heavy lifting here. He did all the investment. He did the 3D modeling. So uh, this is kind of his puppy, his baby right now. And I'd love to support him. So if you guys have an interest, if you're a psychopath, if you're a monster guy, if you're interested in this, uh, the link is in the description. So reach out with questions, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.